friends, welcome to Coffee Field Math. Today we're going to be dealing with discrete mathematics, specifically set theory and the basics of sets. Cardinality is the number of elements in a set, generally. Uh, what that is, is it's notated as a straight line, A, a straight line. Um, and that is the simple notation for it, and it'll tell you that that's what the question is asking, and that's what it wants you to find. So we'll go with question one. B is equal to the set of 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we've got to find its cardinality. So we'll simply count the number of elements in B, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we've got B is equal to 4, the cardinality of B. We'll go on to C, where it becomes a little bit more challenging. We've got C is equal to the set of 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and the subset of 3 and 2. So we've got to find the cardinality of C. So we've got a set within a set. The important thing to remember is that when you've got a set within a set, the subset counts as a single element. So we have 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, which are 6 elements, and then we have the set 3 and 2, which is 1 element. So the cardinality of C is 7. Question 3 says that we are trying to find the cardinality of the empty set. So the cardinality of the empty set is always 0 because the empty set does not have any values and similarly the, the empty set is within every set. That is an important thing to remember although it's not counted as a value.